Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're diving deep into the heart of an organization's cyber defense, the Security Operations Center, or SOC. You might have heard about terms like CIRT or Computer Incident Response Team. Well, the SOC is like the upgraded, more comprehensive version. Let's break it down. At its core, the SOC is responsible for handling and monitoring daily security events. Think of it as the nerve center for cybersecurity, addressing complex and sophisticated security attacks. The primary goal? To identify and respond to internal and external threats as quickly as possible, ensuring the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of an organization's information systems. Now, let's talk about the three pillars of the SOC, people, process, and technology. In the SOC, there are different tiers of analysts, each with distinct roles and responsibilities. Tier 1 analysts are the frontline defenders. They monitor alerts and triage incidents. Their job is to handle basic incidents and escalate more complex ones. They ensure that no alert goes unnoticed and start the initial investigation process. Tier 2 analysts dive deeper into the incidents escalated by Tier 1. They perform detailed analysis, investigate the root cause of incidents, and coordinate with other teams to mitigate threats. They have a broader understanding of the network and systems, enabling them to handle more complex and nuanced threats. Tier 3 analysts, also known as threat hunters, proactively search for threats that have evaded detection. They use advanced techniques and tools to hunt for indicators of compromise and work on developing new detection methods. Their expertise helps in identifying sophisticated attacks that might slip through conventional defenses. Next, the process. The SOC operates through well-defined processes to ensure swift and effective response to threats. This includes collecting and filtering data, detecting and classifying threats, analyzing and investigating them, and implementing preventive measures. It's a continuous cycle of improvement and vigilance. A key part of the process is Security Information and Event Management, or CM. CM systems collect and filter vast amounts of data from the network, servers, and workstations. They help in detecting threats, classifying them, and assisting analysts in investigating these threats thoroughly. And finally, the technology. A SOC leverages a suite of tools to manage the security environment. This includes network, server, workstation, and application monitoring. Some key technologies in a SOC include Security Information and Event Management, or CM. Systems play a crucial role by collecting data, detecting threats, and aiding in their analysis and investigation. Intrusion Detection systems, IDS, and intrusion prevention systems, IPS, are essential. They perform real-time monitoring of network and server activities, detecting suspicious behaviors and potential intrusions. Vulnerability scanners are another critical tool. They identify vulnerable systems on the network and provide remediation recommendations. Regular scans help in maintaining a robust security posture by proactively addressing vulnerabilities. Endpoint protection tools are crucial in safeguarding individual devices within the network. They offer advanced threat detection, prevention, and response capabilities, ensuring that endpoints are not exploited as entry points for attacks. Email security gateways protect against email-based threats such as phishing, malware, and spam. They filter incoming and outgoing emails, ensuring that malicious content does not reach users and that sensitive information is not leaked. Firewalls are a fundamental part of network security. They monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. By establishing a barrier between trusted internal networks and untrusted external networks, firewalls help prevent unauthorized access and cyber threats. Now, SOCs come in different flavors. You have the dedicated SOCs, and then there's SOC as a service, which includes virtual SOCs, managed security service providers, MSSP, multifunction SOCs, and managed detection and response, MDR. 
These models offer flexibility and scalability for organizations of all sizes. Dedicated SOCs are built and managed by the organization itself. They offer full control over the security operations, but require significant resources and expertise. SOC as a service provides a more flexible and cost-effective solution. Organizations can leverage external experts and advanced tools without the need to build their own SOC. This includes models like virtual SOCs, where services are provided remotely, and MSSPs, which offer comprehensive security management services. Some popular SOC as a service providers include Mandiant from Google, Alien Vault from AT&T Cybersecurity, Arctic Wolf Networks, Binary Defense, Bolton Labs, Continuum, CyberSafe, Proficio, Radar Services, Vertec, and more. These services help organizations without the resources for a full-fledged SOC to still maintain robust security operations. For those eager to learn more, there are plenty of external resources available. Websites like SANS, Dark Reading, Security Affairs, Talos Intelligence, Security Week, The Hacker News, Open Security Training, and Gartner provide valuable insights and updates in the world of cybersecurity. And that's a wrap on the Security Operations Center. Remember, the SOC is the backbone of any organization's cyber defense, making it an exciting and vital field to explore. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more cyber insights. Until next time, stay safe and stay secure.